Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Library Astro. Today I'll be talking about a book going by the name of The Lie Maker by Dingwood Barclay. Now this book is a crime and mystery thriller. It's based around a boy going by the name of Jack whose dad was an assassin. Well, more than an assassin. He did all jobs for a company and the guy who his dad was hi- hired for was a, a very ethical businessman. He ran a fast food chain restaurant and uh, he would eliminate his competitors through unorthodox means. So it could be he could uh, expose them uh, by hacking them or he could get them killed and Jack's father did all these jobs for him he would kill people for him he would exploit people he would even torture them um, threaten them do all sorts of malpractices and as we know with this sort of life there's always not always but a lot of the times things just don't end well and eventually Jack's father going by the name of Michael gets seen by a witness while trying to drown a man and things just go south from there the witness was said to to write to memorize and then write down Michael's Michael's car uh, Michael's car's number plate and as she did so, the police investigated Michael, saw sand residues in his car, and he was going down for it for a very long time. However, all the other crimes he did, the police couldn't really make a link, so he was only going down for that crime. However, Jack's father, Michael, was quite an inti- intelligent man. He was very streetwise from a young age, so one day when his boss was telling him to commit a certain crime, he was rec- recording it. So he recorded several c- conversations, and um, he wasn't going down down alone. So he got his lawyer. Uh, he fired the c- company's lawyer because he realized that the firm's lawyer. His interest was more to protect his boss and basically let Michael go, go down for the crime all alone. So Michael had his own lawyer and it wasn't looking good for him. However, he presented the evidence that he did have some recordings and this basically saved him. Uh, the authorities gave him a deal. They said if he, release, he releases the the recordings he will serve I think nine months in jail and then they will put him through a protective a protection program where they will change his whole identity and move him location within the country as they did so everything was worked out however Michael was unable to take Jack and his mother Jack's mother along with him as uh, Jack's mother refused to live a life where the identity has been changed and they always have to be on lookout in case someone's trying to kill them because Mike, Michael's boss was still a powerful man and he could still get Michael and his family killed so they refused to go so Michael had to go alone this caused Jack to become A, a, a kind of boy who who uh, who yearned for a father figure uh, he became a writer and he started to write books about where not about but where the themes were abandonment and he had he had two successful books to, to say the least and during Jack's childhood there will be times where he would run away tried to find his dad looking for clues of where his dad may be 
However, his dad was never completely gone. From time to time, he'll pop out nowhere and join Jack's teenagehood. Uh, teenage years, he would pop out nowhere and just pay a surprise visit. And this happened about three or four times. However, Jack still wanted his dad to be around and one day he gets approached by the protection service program and they told him they want him to to write a uh, a fake story for a guy who they're trying to change identity of they informed jack that they now use novelist in order to write new identities new stories because they're the most creative people however this turned out to be a lie as the individual who approached jack just wanted revenge on his dad because of what his dad has done in the past and jack during this process was trying to find his dad and they were trying to use him to get to his dad so they can kill his dad yeah i'm not going to spoil the story so i'll leave that part there this was just a premise of the book a, qu a quick summary if it's something that you guys will be interested in you can go and give it a go and yeah and remember reading is better than watching tv way more creativity way more imagination into it have a good day and enjoy